Senator, congratulations on 100 episodes. Uh, that is crazy. Uh, you know, when, when we <laughs> sat down January, almost two years ago, and, and, and I- in the basement and did it at, at what, one, two in the morning. <laughs> Every night. Every night, and 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 the first time we did it, we had this shag carpet. We had, we had this chair. I, I mean, the, the 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 chair and the carpet are veterans of of a hundred episodes. Um, and and listen, I've been upstaged by a cactus, <laughs> but but a, for a shag carpet to kick your ass, that that that, that is a little much. But I mean, I remember the the, the, the that first night. There was a lot of skepticism, one, a skepticism from one young Michael Knowles, skepticism from our producers, <laughs> skepticism from almost anyone sentient w- w- with a discernible sense of judgment, like, how is this going to work? Is this going to work? And then we rocketed up the charts and and within weeks, we're the number one podcast in the world. So I admit I was skeptical at the very beginning. I, I You know, I have great admiration for you, Senator. I have voted for you. But I was a little skeptical that you were going to beat Joe Rogan on the podcast charts. And and yet, uh, after just a week, I guess, on on the air, the show hit number one. Obviously, it's been going for two years and, and uh, uh, that is a. Uh, now it's a very popular thing to do. A lot of politicians have podcasts. It, it had never been done in a popular way before. And so I, I am thrilled and, and I'm sorry for forever doubting that you would become one of the biggest broadcasters in America. Well, look, I, I will say this. I, one of the things I get great joy from is Verdict has more viewers than CNN's morning show. <laughs> like, like, like in some ways, that's such an incredibly low bar that that's like saying, OK, you, you, you know, we exceed three. Um, but but it is really an amazing sort of commentary on the shift of media and discussion. You know, it used to be that, that you know, the big three you had ABC, CBS, NBC back when. All right, Michael, I bet you don't. Do you remember television sets that had knobs that turned or was that before your time? I do, but only because I grew up kind of poor. That's the only reason I remember it, but they were basically extinct by the time I was a kid. You, you know, when I was a kid, we had remote control and they called it kids. As in you <laughs> yell at the kid, go change the station. And I did, look, I wasn't growing up in, you know, Ward Beaver 1950s, but, uh, <laughs> uh, you, you know, walked uphill, both school, both uphill both ways. Uh, snowing both ways, yep. Yeah. 